to know a couple of techniques for how to expand your search and get more results than you got the first time. Now we're going to move on to the second strategy, which is narrowing it down to make your results more relevant. We're going to do this by using three different techniques. The first one is called phrase searching. The second one is called field searching. And the third one is the use of filters. Let's take a look at each of these in a little bit more detail. The first technique that I mentioned is called phrase searching. Uh, and this is going to be a technique that will narrow down your search. So in the last um, demonstration, we tried to get more results. And in this one, we are trying to get less. We're trying to narrow it down to the most relevant ones. So this is how phrase searching works. It's a technique that you use whenever you have a concept that has more than one word. So one of our main concepts was video games. What's happening right now is that the database is finding the word video anywhere and the word games anywhere. So we're probably getting a lot of results that are about videos and that are about games, but are not about video games. So what you need to do, whenever you have a concept that's two words or more, is you have to put quotation marks around it in order to keep them together as one concept. This is called phrase searching. So when we do this, we're gonna get fewer results because now it's gonna get rid of all the ones that just have the word video and all the ones that just have the word games. Uh, or, the, or the papers where they're kind of like both in the paper but they're in random places. And now it's just gonna find the ones where video games appears as one phrase. So that's phrase searching, and we're gonna try it out soon. Uh, number two is field searching. And um, field searching is something that you'll do once you've already got a search going in psych info. Basically, what's happening normally when you're searching in this database is that it's searching not only the information about the papers, but the full text of the papers themselves. So all of the search terms that you put in might have been found like one time in a paper. However, when you're in Psych Info, there's this area called Select a Field, where you can actually use the drop down, and you can determine that you want your search words to be found in one of these fields. The idea is that if the search words are found in, say, the title of the paper, rather than just randomly somewhere in the middle of it, then the paper will be more relevant to that topic. Similarly, if you were to pick abstract, for example, uh, the fact that your search words were found in the abstract of the paper means that it's more likely, the results are more likely to be relevant. So field searching is where, you, once you've got your words in your search box, you use the drop down, and you either pick title or abstract. You could try other ones as well, but those are the two that I recommend to try and narrow down your results to make them even more relevant. So that's field searching, and again, we're gonna try that shortly. The third technique is using filters. And this is the little section on the side of your screen. So imagine that this is your, your computer screen. You've got this menu on the left-hand side, and these are all these little boxes that you can check depending on what it is that you want to look at. So when you have your search results here, for example, you can see that one of the, your options is to filter by format. Uh, there's academic journals, there's books, there's electronic collections. So something you can do is you can click on the academic journals box and it will make your results more relevant because you know you have to use peer-reviewed academic journal articles that will narrow your results down to just those. So each of these techniques helps you get more and more specific and more and more relevant. So let's take a look at how this actually works in the database. So here we are back in Psych Info, and as you can see, I still have our last search still um, set up in the search fields. What we'll do now is we'll go through and we'll actually use each of these three techniques we just talked about for narrowing it down further. So the, the line that has the two word concepts is the second line here, the one that has the concept of video games. So what I'm going to do is put the quotation marks around video games. And as you can see, I'm just leaving the star in there 
it actually t uh, totally works to combine both of these techniques at once. So this phrase in quotation marks is going to get video game or video games, either one. And then we'll do the same thing, add it to the to vid to computer game. So computer games is going to now be together as one phrase and war games is also going to be together as one phrase. So we currently have 565 results and when I click search what this is going to do is give us less. It's going to narrow it down for us. And there you go. You can see that we got a few fewer, 543. Um, so that's how phrase searching works. Then we want to go to field searching. Now um, in all of these cases, as we talked about before, it's just finding these words anywhere in the articles. And we talked about how you can use this drop-down and maybe you would like to pick title because you want these words to definitely be in the title. Um, another good option is to pick abstract. So even if the words aren't in the title, if they're mentioned at least in that one paragraph summary, then you should know that that paper is going to be about, about these concepts. So I don't want to get too specific yet, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change all my fields to abstract. And you don't always have to use this technique. Um, if, if all of your results look really good, like you don't have to go this far, but if you find that you're getting a lot of stuff that's not that relevant for you, then it's a really good tool to have. And so now when I click search again, I should get even less results. And so we're at 543 now. Click search and it takes us down to 403. So we're getting more and more relevant. The third technique was using the filters. So what I'm going to do is scroll down and um, I had shown you a little cutout of this section right here. There's different kinds of filters that you can use. So we already know that we have to use peer-reviewed journal articles. So one of the boxes that you might want to check in the filter section is this one right here, which says scholarly peer-reviewed journals. And this should take our results down even, even further. So right now we have 403. If I click this box, this filter, takes us down to 299. Okay, great. We're, we're getting here. So everything that we see here, we know we can definitely use for our paper. What else might we want to pick? In this case, I'm not going to go any further because I feel like my results are really relevant already. But if I did want to, like let's say that I um, wanted to focus on a specific age group, I could click on age and then I could click on one of these filters to filter it down to the ones that dealt specifically with um, subjects or people or people that were involved in the study that were adolescents, for example. And I could click that filter. And that's how the filters work. So th through using those three techniques, I was able to take it from almost 600 results down to 299. And this is a much more manageable list of results for me to look at. All right, so those are the three narrowing techniques. Let's give it a try, and I'll see you in the next video for the final steps.